page 145, problem number 39. Find a polynomial function with real coefficients that has the given zeros, 2, 2, and 4 minus i. Well, to have these zeros, that means the function must have these factors, x minus 2, x minus 2, and x minus 4 minus i. Now, we have to be careful here. There's an additional zero and an additional factor that we're not told about. Because any time we have a complex number as a zero, we have to have its complex conjugate as a zero also. So 4 plus i is an additional zero, which means that x minus 4 plus i is an additional factor. Okay, so now our polynomial function is going to be f of x equals all of this. All right, we want to multiply this together, figure out what this is equal to. Our best bet is to start with these complex numbers. They look bad, but once we multiply them, these complex conjugates will ensure us that the imaginary terms will drop out. I guarantee it. Now, one way to think about this, let's rewrite this a little differently. So let's write this as x, and I'm going to distribute that minus throughout, x minus 4 plus i times x minus 4 minus i. And I'm going to group the x minus 4s together. Because if I write it that way, now it's a FOIL problem. First, multiply the x minus 4s together, then our outer then our inner, then last, we'll multiply those imaginary numbers. Now, there's a big reason why we do it this way. I'll show you right here. First, x minus 4 times x minus 4. Well, I can get this. I'm just going to work over here and just write x minus 4 times x minus 4. Now, once I do enough of these, I should be able to tell what this is without putting this work on the side. But for now, we'll write this as x squared minus 4x minus another 4x then minus 4 times minus 4, which is plus 16. So x minus 4 times x minus 4 is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now watch this, this next part. This is, this is why we grouped it as we did. With x minus 4 times minus i and x minus 4 times plus i, the outer and the inner terms will cancel out. So that'll cancel out our imaginary terms. Now we're back to our last two terms. We have i times minus i, which gives us minus i squared. Well, i squared is equal to negative 1, so I have minus negative 1, which is the same as plus 1. So that gives me x squared minus 8x plus 17. Okay, now, that's what I get when I multiply these two sets of terms. I can also multiply these two. So using FOIL, first, outer, inner, and last. That gives me, and I'll write my answer down here, x squared minus 2x minus another 2x gives me minus 4x, and then minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. Now, to finish this off, we need to multiply these two polynomials together. It looks bad, but we can handle it. So that'll give me, my function is going to be equal to x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And let's just connect these. So now I need to multiply x squared times minus 8x, which gives me minus 8x to the third. Now I'll multiply that x squared times 17, which is plus 17x squared. Now I multiplied x squared by every one of these terms. Now I'm going to multiply minus 4x by every one of these terms. Minus 4x times x squared is minus 4x cubed. Minus 4x times minus 8x is plus 32 x squared minus 4x times 17 is going to be minus 68x. Now, let's multiply this 4 by all three of those terms. That should finish it for us. So 4 times x squared, and we have 4 times minus 8x, then we have 4 times 17. All right, well, there's my answer, but now let's just combine our like terms. First, I have just one x to the fourth term, so I'm going to bring that down, x to the fourth. 
Now I've got a couple x cubed terms. I have minus 8x cubed, minus 4x cubed. Put those together, that'll give us minus 12x cubed. Now my x squareds. I have 17x squared, 32x squared, and 4x squared. 17 plus 32 is 49, plus 4, that gives me plus 53 x squared. Okay, now my x's. I have minus 68, minus 32. That should give me minus 100 x. And last but not least, plus 68. So there's my function, f of x equals x to the fourth minus 12x cubed plus 53x squared minus 100x plus 68. And I can check that by graphing it. It should go through the x-axis at 2 and nowhere else because it won't show these imaginary terms. Let's check that out. So if I press my y equals key, let's try to type this in here, x to the fourth power minus 12 x to the third power plus 53 x squared minus 100 x plus 68 and I have a feeling we won't be able to see much of this graph but we should be able to see that zero if you take a look it's got that it's actually a repeated zero because we have the value 2 repeated twice, so it's a repeated 0, which is why it just comes down, touches it once, and keeps going, and that's the only 0 we have, so we're pretty sure, based on this graph, that my function is the correct one for this set of directions.